Hey Jazzy Greens, welcome back to another video. I am somewhat back. I'm not going to say I'm back back, but then I could be back back. I don't know yet. It all depends on how I continue to feel. This is the, the 9th of April when I'm filming this. And yes, I'm sitting in the car waiting for hubby to come out because he went grocery shopping for us. And I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, he's doing grocery shopping and I'm, I'm okay, but I still feel a little bit weak. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to pop in and let this be the first video since me having the surgery. I'm gonna tell you guys how it went, give you an update, and just chit chat for a, not too long, but we'll see, who knows. When I pause, you know it's because any noises, somebody may have their music, you know, loud, you know, that boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I can't stand this. <laughs> Hubby can't stand it and Aaron cannot stand it. I had surgery on, sometimes car vlogging at a grocery store, it just won't work. And we're at Walmart, by the way. But anyway, um, on the 4th of April, which happens to be my daughter's birthday. So that's a day that I, I accepted and kind of chose because it's a day that I would never forget that I had this surgery. I had the surgery at 10.30 in the morning. Well, it didn't happen at 10.30 like they said it would. At first when they scheduled me, they scheduled me for like 11.30 to be at the hospital. And then I said, okay, well, what time will I have the surgery? They said 1.30. And I'm like, what? So... I was really nervous because I said to myself, now I know you guys are not going to do this to me to go all the way from 12 midnight all the way to after 1, 2, and 3 o'clock in the afternoon with no water. That's not going to work. Because you know, when you have surgery, at least for me, that anesthesia, I, um, I don't drink for a while anyway or eat. But all of a sudden... Because I was going to call the doctor's office and see if they could, you know, squeeze me in or change me with somebody else. It so happens that they called me and told me that they had some type of cancellation and would I like to come in earlier to have it. I was like, how earlier? So they said if I can be at the hospital at 830, I was like, yes, yes. And it's scheduled for 1030. I was so thankful, you guys. I mean... I just feel like this was a <laughs> a prayer met because I was so happy. I was kind of nervous about going that far um, without and not not without anesthesia. I was so nervous about going that long without water. I was like, how am I going to make this work? You just don't talk a whole lot that day, you know. But anyway, I me and hubby were there at. 8 30 i drove as i told him i'm gonna drive you and that way you can drive me back i just felt like driving because you know i drive a little bit i don't drive fast but i i know how to get to my appointments it is on time just by driving a certain way i have a special technique and then of course um i had to let him i think i did no, yeah, we did find a parking space. I was going to say that he had to hold on. Because this hospital, which is close in my area, not real close, but we had to go register, you know, do all that stuff, paperwork, insurance stuff. So we took care of all that. And sorry for my head turning. I got to keep my hair my head alert see people coming by it's distracting so forgive me guys i am looking at you right there um i'm not gonna make this too long but i'm gonna try to get to the point because i love to car vlog you know i really do and i can talk talk when it comes to that um especially if i have a good topic 
So anyway, we got upstairs. They told us what to do. And mind you, I had already prayed for myself prior. And, you know, all the other prayers from other people, you know, I received your, your prayers as well. And um, the prayers worked. One specific prayer that I prayed for, that the nurses would get my start my IV without having multiple pokes she did she got it on the first try yes thank you Lord I was just thanking the Lord because I was looking at my veins and they they're very small and skinny and I told her I said this is one on my forearm uh, you can't see it on the other side of this arm you can't see it but on the forearm of my arm I told her try that vein because a lot of people get that one sure enough she got it and there was no um, blowing out of it or anything it went in perfectly I said yes so we got that started and did all the prelim preliminary things took my blood pressure now they had told me prior to take my blood pressure with just a little sip of water and I'm like how am I gonna do that I take a capsule high blood pressure is a capsule you have to take gulps of that so I refuse to take my blood pressure medicine knowing that I have to take a lot of water I've never had water in my system during a surgery you know prior to a surgery is what I'm trying to say never had it, and I don't, I don't want to try because I'm very sensitive to anesthesia I'll get to that in a moment. So um, my blood pressure, it was a little high, but not bad. You know, I think it was, ooh, I think she said, don't quote me, 137 over 72, something like that. That's better than a 60, 160 or 170. So I had to wait for the next, um, the next bed. She told me, you know, put this gown on that they give you and opening in the back. So I did that. And I think I was the second patient to have surgery that was next. But I wasn't rushing because I was like, ooh, just kind of jittery, nervous, you know. And the reason why I'd be nervous, and I want to explain this, I don't have, I didn't have fear. Um, I didn't want you guys to think when I said in my community post, nervous, I'm not fearful. I was not fearful at all. It's just, that's how I get when I have the surgery because I don't like, oh, it's hot. Gosh, it's hot out here. I don't like having all this work done on me, you know, needles and anesthesia and going inside of the, um, of the uh, operating room I don't like seeing all that I, I'm just not mm -mm, that's not for me so that's why I say I was nervous I just don't like I don't like surgery period you know some people don't mind it because they can sleep and relax no no I rather sleep and relax the regular way <laughs> but anyway I had the surgery they were actually late taking me up there. I'm thinking, you said 10.30 now. Shoot. Now, if I were late, they would be like, oh, we're going to have to reschedule. But if the doctor's late or maybe they didn't have another available room, I don't know what the deal was. But they don't reschedule for those things, especially if the patient is there. But it was like, yeah, 12 noon they were wheeling me through there. And I asked the anesthesiologist when he came in to see me. He came in after the doctor came in. And I told him, I said, okay, you're the main doctor I want to speak to. He says, yes, uh-huh, let me tell you. I got to let you know how I am with anesthesia. I told him I'm very sensitive to it. I said, I need you to give me some a very little bit amount just before you guys will whoever wills me into the operating room I need a little bit of that so that I can feel very sleepy to the fact that you know so sleepy where I don't hardly 
keep my eyes open. All the other surgeries I've ever had in the past, the anesthesiologist was very gracious to do that. I've never had a problem with it. So I'm thinking he's gonna do that. He gives me some medication. He, give, he, he didn't give it to me. One of the nurses gave it to me. And she says, okay, you're gonna get ready to go to sleep. Just relax. Girl, that medicine didn't do nothing to me. It just made me a little bit groggy. It was not what I asked for. The anesthesiologist, he did tell me, and I forgot, he did tell me that he doesn't know if they want him to do that or if they, something to that nature. And I'm like, look, doctor, you're the doctor. You're supposed to be in control of that. What do you mean they don't want you? I don't know. This hospital is different from the regular hospital where I go to. I mean, I don't know what's so different about it. I guess different rules for every hospital. And I wasn't happy with what he said. I said, the reason why I want this anesthesia, anesthesia a little bit, just a little bit. I always get it every time. It's because I get nervous and I don't want to be shaken. Sometimes I will actually convulse, not like a seizure, but just, I'm just so nervous. I don't like to be around that. I like to be calm. And what that does is it helps calm me down. That's all. But anyway, he didn't give me what I asked for. So when we, so when it wheeled me into the operating room, I don't know if you guys want to hear all these details. Maybe you don't. Maybe you care to do it, but I just thought I would share it with you. Surgery was over. So I'm in the recovery room. I think maybe about, I saw a clock. It was a clock right ahead of me. So whenever I woke up, from the time I started waking up, I looked at that clock and I took maybe about a little over an hour because I really wanted to sit up at that time. My back was aching. And they had already called my husband and told him, you know, gave him the update that I was doing okay and everything. I'll fast forward some more. We got home and um, I pretty much wanted to just lay on the couch. I actually sat up on the couch for several hours. I was tired of laying. Of course, I was doing a lot of sleeping. Now, getting to the anesthesia, like I said, I'm very sensitive to it where it makes me sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. A lot of sleeping. Everybody's different. Anesthesia works differently with everybody. Me and my grandmother are the two sensitive people in the family that I know of. With her, they had to put a heart monitor on her because she... She would actually sleep for days without waking up. It takes it takes days for that stuff to fully come out of me. I don't know how long, I'm gonna say close to a week. I mean, I do wake up in between. So I'd be trying to help myself, you know, wake up. But that stuff is very, 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 very strong. I really wish that my body wasn't as sensitive to anesthesia as it is. I really do, guys, because it's awful and it's dreadful, even though it's necessary. Okay, I did not think I was gonna throw up at all. I hope you're not eating or anything or drinking. Sorry if you are. So I was okay the day of, which is Thursday. Friday surprised me. I'm kind of laying, lay sitting on the couch and then my stomach started to turn. And then I felt so sick, I, I can't talk. It was hard for me to talk. To ask my husband for a bag, you know, just put a couple of Walmart bags together. And as I'm trying to talk, I just couldn't. And, you know, I kind of threw up a little bit on the couch, which I, I took care of that. Because we have like a leather couch. And Aaron was about, to, he was coming downstairs to cook his, his food. And he, he saw that and he was like, uh, no, I'm not hungry right now. <laughs> he went back upstairs. I'm like, and after I finished the first round, I said, I'm sorry, guys. 
And then by the time he gave me the bag, then I was able to, you know, finish everything else. I feel so bad, but that was a shock to me. So I got sick a little bit Friday and Saturday. I got sick, I think in the morning. Yep. And it woke my hubby up. <laughs> I, mean, I had already had my bag right by the couch. So I was already prepared. But yeah, sometimes I, you know, get like that and my appetite still has not returned and I am not complaining whatsoever. This is days later, almost a week, not quite a week, but in some ways I kind of hope that the appetite doesn't return because, you know, sometimes I feel like I need to do better at um, controlling my appetite but sometimes it's hard it's very hard it's challenging and I was thinking about trying that Ozempic that injection to help curb your appetite mm, sure it's just a thought in my mind I don't know the way my appetite is now I'm able to eat very little which I have no problem with hallelujah I'm not complaining at all at least I'm eating something a day at first I didn't eat anything for like two or three days because I just couldn't eat and then my stomach would be hurting it's just hurt but let me tell you what he did okay the surgeon all he had to do was go into my urethra a little narrow tube that's near you know your vagina and the scope you had to go through there look all the way in there and then he had looked at both of my kidneys hallelujah the stone must have passed some time ago because it was not there he could not find it hallelujah I was happy you know I kind of felt like maybe the stone might have been gone because when I met him in the hospital I mean not in the hospital in the uh, his office prior to the surgery, I mentioned it to him. I said, I wonder if it's gone. And the reason why, because I tried to go urinate one night and it felt like something was stuck right there. And it was preventing me from going to urinate. And I thought it was like 12 midnight and I told my husband about it. So I'm trying to pee and I can't, but I feel that pressure like that stone is there. I don't, I, 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 I didn't feel it come out. It could have, but hallelujah, it, it wasn't where he could find it. So hallelujah for that. He said the stone was not there because if it was, he would have um, pulled it out and he was gonna put a stent inside there. And I'm like, what in the world? What are you talking about? And I forgot to ask him why you gotta put anything in me. Cause I don't like to have to go back into your office and you got to pull this out. I'm like, oh boy, here we go, nervous again. I don't know how that feels, having something in you and you, they got to pull it out. My husband asked him, sorry, hubby called me. He's going to be wrapping it up, so I'm going to try to wrap this video up, or at least this part of it. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, whether I'm going to continue another day, and I really don't want to do this. Let me hurry, hurry, hurry. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please click the like button. Give this video, um, of course, a big thumbs up by liking it. Um, yeah, so basically, guys, I am better. Um, yeah, I'm better. And thank God for the doctor. Oh, yeah, he could not find the stone. That's where I'm. Uh, it's coming back to me. Yeah, he couldn't find the stone and all that. So I'm very thankful that that happened. <laughs> I'm so happy. So I want to say publicly right now, thank you all so much for your prayers, um, for your text messages. Some of you text me and checked up on me before the surgery as well as afterwards. Usually after a surgery, I can't really do hardly any talking, even in texting because I'm just so sleepy. It, I sleep a lot. But thank you all who reached out to me in the community post, who prayed for me and um, 
yeah, sent me the text. I'm repeating myself. Thank you all for all your love, your support. I love you guys so much. And it's, it's really important when you're going through things that we all stick together as women and men too and support one another in prayer. I mean, that's very, excuse me, that's very, very important. Very important. You know, this wasn't a major surgery, but still, surgery is surgery to me. <laughs> I don't care if it's major or minor. And it was outpatient, of course. Ooh, my nose. Oh, nose is itching. Don't start. <laughs> I'm doing much better. And you guys see my new sunglasses I got from Timu. And here are my eyes. You probably can't see them because of the sun. But I do have on some makeup. I've been trying to put makeup on a little bit to kind of spru spruce myself up. Make me feel a little better. And these are adorable. I think they're so, so cute. They're little heart glasses with the gold. So this is quite... This is quite different from what I would wear, but as I get older, I seem to be branching out with, you know, liking different things, as we will do sometimes. And, oh yeah, I got my nails done before the surgery. You like? This is mint green. And I got a couple of rings from Timu. This is one here, and here's the other. I think that is beautiful. Look at that, wow. But anyway, um, I know there's one more thing I wanted to say. Um, I was saying something about my nails. What was it? Oh, yeah, of course, I'm not wearing my girlfriend's uh, today. I just haven't felt like putting on a wig. I, I wore one one day, and it just I just wanted to just take it off. Cause it's just like getting on my nerves. <laughs> but you know, it's just the way it is sometimes. But yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm stronger. My son keeps saying, ooh, you you look sick, your eyes. I said, would you please stop saying to me, I am healed, boy. I'm not sick. My eyes may have that weak look. It's because of anesthesia. Now, I'm assuming this anesthesia is all out of me now, but it still has me that weak feeling. And I still have some pain, which I did not want to take the pain medicine Sometimes I'm sensitive to pain meds, especially Vicodin, oh no. So, cause the doctor told me as well as the husband um, that I will have some pain. I don't have anything major where I need pain meds. So thank God for that. I've taken a couple of Tylenols a couple of times and that's it. Um, one other thing, going back to the surgery, after the surgery, I asked the doctor, um, I said, can you tell me? Because he told me I did real good. Everything looks good. He gave me the update. And I said to him, I said, of course, I wasn't talking as fast as I am now. I asked him, um, when, no, how can I avoid these kidney stones? Because it seemed like just in my later years of life, I've been prone to them. And I want to cut this. I want it to stop enough is enough who likes to keep going on to this operating room i'm tired of it so i want to know what can i do and i've i've actually googled some things too but i want to know um just what he will say i'm just curious but i also what i want to do is things that are natural but i want to know because i don't want to take no medicines for this and he said there are some things he said but if i tell you right now you're not going to remember which that's true. I don't know why I asked him that because I would not have remembered and my husband would not have remembered at all. So I'm going to have a phone interview, follow up with him um, in about a week and a half or so. And um, so he can just uh, not discuss, but just, I guess, follow up how I'm doing because he wants me to have a, um, a scan done four to six months just to look through there you know the machine look at me just make sure there's no stones present and there won't be in the name of Jesus but anyway that's what I pray but I, I'm gonna work on I'm just gonna work on a few things you know I know I've got to get this weight off having extra weight does me no good I drink a lot of water but I'll try to push more. 
except when you go in places you can't drink a whole lot you just can't be going to the bathroom every 5 10 15 minutes so you know I'm pushing the fluids and hopefully hubby is on his way out because I got to go to the bathroom again. I don't feel like walking into Walmart to go. Um, and holding the pee probably isn't good either. But I'm going to find out all these things. Like there's some changes I got to do. But anywho, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. It's good to see you guys. Um, when am I going to do home decor videos? Um... I'm going to say one day soon. That's all I can say. Um, I don't know because I just haven't been motivated to do any decorating. I have some spring things I haven't shared with you guys. And let me know down in the comment section if you want me to share it. Because I feel like it's everybody is all, has always, I mean, have, have always, not have always. Everybody has shown their um, decorating living rooms and their tours or whatever you want to call it i didn't do a lot of decorating and i'm not doing a lot i just haven't been in the mood to do it or the strength but i want to do something for outside but i, I just don't know because i'm trying not to spend a whole lot i'm on a budget right now a tight budget so and that's kind of what's bumming me out a little bit because i like to shop just as well as you do too you know and whenever i buy something home decor related it's always gonna be on sale no matter what store it comes from always on a on a budget but anyway thank you guys thank you so much for your love as i always appreciate you if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel give this video a big thumbs up it does help my channel please click the like button i would really appreciate it uh, double tap that bell when you hit the subscribe button and that way you'll be notified of all my videos and you won't miss any of them thank you all who, for tuning in um, every time I have other videos that are in my um, I have other videos that I would like you guys to continue to watch until I get back get back with videos okay please watch the older videos please 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 comment down below and let me know what you would like to say to me and i thank you guys so much thank you guys for subscribing who are new here you guys take care you be blessed and i love you and i'll see you next time bye